Thank you for watching Enermi TV. Today is Monday, 7th of November, 2022. Russian Marines say, incompetent, generals are treating them as, cannon fodder. A Ukrainian serviceman from the 127th Brigade looks up to the sky after hearing the sound of a drone at their position near the Ukrainian border with Russia in the Kharkiv region on Saturday A Ukrainian soldier works at digging a trench in the Kherson region on Sunday Marines from Russia's 155th Naval Infantry Brigade wrote a scathing letter to their regional governor saying they had lost 300 servicemen in a four-day massacre in Pavlivka thanks to the catastrophic planning of Generals Rustam Muradov, left, and Zarab Akhmedov, right. Russia's defense ministry took a rare step today of denying the allegations that the naval infantry unit had suffered disastrous losses of men and equipment in the battle. Volunteers of the Ukrainian World Foundation inspect a former Russian military fortification in the northern Kherson region on Sunday meanwhile. The Marines wrote the letter about the bloodbath in Pavlivka to their regional governor Oleg Kozhimyako in Primorsky, in the Russian Far East, in a bid to get their plaintive message to Putin and the upper echelons of the defense ministry. Marines from Russia's 155th Naval Infantry Brigade wrote a scathing letter to their regional governor, claiming they had lost 300 servicemen in a four-day massacre in Pavlivka thanks to the catastrophic planning of Generals Rustam Muradov and Zarab Akhmedov. A howitzer, belonging to Ukrainian artillery battery attached to the 59th Motorized Brigade, shoots off to target the points controlled by Russian troops in Kherson Oblast Ukrainian servicemen from the 127th Brigade inspect destroyed Russian armored personnel carriers, APC, near the Ukrainian border in Kharkiv region on Saturday meanwhile. The alleged four-day massacre in Pavlivka was first highlighted by Russian state TV reporter Alexander Sladkov, a staunch loyalist in a sign that even Putin's most loyal supporters are questioning the war. Russian marines have said their, incompetent, generals are treating them as, cannon fodder. After their unit suffered devastating losses, with 300 men reportedly killed or wounded in four days of heavy fighting in eastern Ukraine. Please like and subscribe to Enermi TV below. We bring you the latest news through the power of artificial intelligence as it happens. Thank you for listening.